Hi, this is the Empire 24. And guys, today we're, we're gonna be reading First Samuel 11 from the New International Version, also known as the NIV Version. So, guys, we're not gonna be long. You guys can go to googlebabio.com, or you guys can go to Google Bible. I don't really care how you guys end up, but let's get started. First Samuel 11, Saul rescues the city of Jabesh. The Hash, the Ammonite, went up and besieged Jabesh Gilead, and all the men of Jabesh <coughs> said to him, Make a treaty of us, and we will be subject to you. When Nahash, the Ammonite, replied, I'll make a treaty if you only on the condition that I gouge out the right eye of every one of you, and so bring disgrace on Israel. The elders of Jabesh said to him, Give us seven days so we can send messengers to Israel. If no one comes to rescue us, we will surrender to you. When the messengers came to Gibeah of Saul and reported these terms to the people, they all wept aloud just then Saul was re returning from the fields. He and his oxen and he asked, What is wrong with everyone? Why are they weeping? And they repeated to him what the men of Jabesh had said. When Saul heard their words, the Spirit of God came powerfully upon him, and he burned with anger. He took a pair of oxen and cut them into pieces and set, sent the pieces by messengers throughout Israel, proclaiming, This will, we will, this is what will be done to the oxen of anyone who does not follow Saul and Samuel. Then the terror of the Lord fell on the people, and they came out together as one. When Saul mustered them at Bezek, the men of Israel numbered 300,000, and those of Judah 30,000. They told the messengers who had come, Say to the men of Jabesh Gilead, by the hand of the son of Hachmara, you will be rescued. When the messengers went and reported this to the men of Jabesh, they were elated. They said to the Ammonites, Tomorrow we will surrender to you, and you can do to us whatever you like. The next day Saul separated his men into three divisions. During the last watch of the, the night, they broke into camp of the Ammonites and slaughtered them until the heat of the day. Those who survived were scattered to the, so that no two of them were left together. Saul confirmed as king. The people then said to Samuel, Who was it that asked, Shall Saul, shall Saul reign over us? Turn these men over to us so that we may put them to death. The Saul said, No one will be put to death today, for the day the Lord has rescued Israel. Now for this day the Lord has rescued Israel. Then Samuel said to the people, Come, let us go to Gilgal, and there renew the kingship. So all the people went to Gilgal and made Saul king in the presence of the Lord. There they sacrificed fellowship offerings before the Lord, and Saul and all the Israelites held a great celebration. I uh, I hope that you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to click that like button. Make sure to click the bell to be notified when I post. Anyway, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.